Good afternoon, uh, viewers. My name is uh, Zuchamo Yantan, Faculty of Library and Information Science in School of Social Sciences in Rangani National Open University. Well, in continuation of our uh, counseling, online counseling program, I'm here today to give an overview of the program of Certificate, of Certi Certificate in Library and Information uh, Science. Well, uh, this year, the faculty is very much encouraged and inspired to have received so many fresh enrollment for the program of CLIs, that is Certificate in Library and Information Science. Just in Rajasthan alone, uh, we have received about 25,000 fresh enrollment for this program. And this is also one of the main reasons why uh, the faculty is compelled to do an online counseling because, you know, in many of the study centers, they do not have enough infrastructures to accommodate the students for giving the counseling uh, session, especially in the state of Rajasthan, where, you know, 25,000 students' fresh enrollment has been taken, you know, for this program. And... Well, since most of the students are also from the Hindi medium, uh, you know, from the Hindi medium, that also created a little, uh, in a way, like problem for us because CLIS is actually launched in English. And of course, the Hindi translation is uh, in the making. And hopefully, in the coming days, the faculty will be able to come up with a Hindi uh, trans uh, translated v version of the study material of Certificate in Library in Information Science. Well, since past 20 days, the faculty has been conducting online counseling for Certificate in Library in Information Science. And most of the contents of this CLIS has been covered by my faculty members, my colleagues, Professor Uma Ganjilal, Professor Jadip Sharma, and Archana Shukla. And I believe the counseling session which have been conducted has been a meaningful one. And I do believe that uh, most of you must have benefited uh, from the counseling session which have been already conducted in Hindi especially. Uh, for those of you who have not received your study material, I will request you to kindly uh, download Go to Google Apps and you can download IGNU eContent. And once you have, once you download this, you will be able to, you know, like uh, read the study materials using your smartphone anywhere else. It becomes very convenient. Of course, it is right now, as I have said, it is in English. But I believe that even if you are from the Hindi medium, uh, you know, background, the course material is written in a very friendly, in a very simple way. So I hope it will help you. Yeah. So today's uh, counseling will be uh, will be conducted the conducted in English. Uh, since I am very poor in Hindi, so I would like to. If you have any queries, I would like to request you to kindly, you know, uh, put your question across uh, in English, so that I will be able to, you know, uh, give you a satisfactorily, you know, like a response. Well, uh, let me uh, explain about this, uh, the idea behind the launching of Certificate in Library and Information Science. Well, in 2010, a proposal had come from ISOL Regional Center, Mizoram, to develop a program on Certificate in Library and Information Science. So in this regard, faculties had visited ISOL to conduct a workshop and also to study you know, to the need for launching of certificate in library and information science. So the faculty visited ISOL, conducted the workshop and studied uh, you know, the state of Mizoram and was convinced that there is certainly a need for launching of certificate in library and information science. So because like, uh, unfortunately, 
there are many universities offering library and information science programs, but most of the programs are being launched. They are at a higher level, at a postgraduate level. For example, like uh, University of Delhi has been running, offering the program of library and information science for many, many decades. But till today, they have not come up with any program, you know, any certificate or diploma programs. Because, like, the thing is that uh, the program, the existing programs are only basically meeting more of the needs of the higher level in the library management, but it is not uh, gather, gathering to the needs in the lower, you know, section in the library. So uh, that is the reason why, you know, there was a need felt that certificate and library and information science should be uh, launched uh, by the Indragani National Open University. And that's how the program was developed. And it was launched in 2015. And since then, a very good enrollment number has been taken. And we do believe that as we keep on sensitizing this program that is Certificate in Library and Information Science, there will be many more uh, takers from different, you know, like uh, states across India. And well, like, uh, let me just uh, briefly explain uh, what are the objectives behind the launching of this program, that is CLIS. When we design a program, of course, we design with certain objectives. So uh, the first objective is to sensitize library and information science education at grassroots uh, level. Why it was very much needed? Because many of the many you know crossroot uh, in the villages in the rural areas, most of the libraries are being managed by untrained librarian. Well, the proposal itself, which came from Mizoram, they have justified that you know there are so many libraries, village libraries, but they are being managed by untrained librarian. So they have given a justification that. So in order to meet uh, the needs of uh, those libraries, a certificate in library and information science is required. So that's the reason why the proposal came. And of course, so the first uh, objective is to sensitize library and information science, you know, uh, at grassroots level. And second objective is to impart basic skills and training in library uh, management. As I have said, most of the existing programs of library and information science are catering to the higher level of the library management. So uh, there, there we felt that there is a need, uh, you know, like to cater the needs of the, you know, the personals who are in the lower section in the library. So the second objective is to impart the basic skills, you know, and training in library and information science. And third objective, which is actually, again, very important, that is, provide opportunity of professional skills development to those who are already working and yet having no professional qualification you know in library and information science well there are so many uh, libraries you know where the lower section in the library are being occupied by untrained uh, untrained uh, library, the prof professionals, untrained library, I mean untrained staffs. So this CLIS gives them the opportunity to enable them to have a professional degrees, you know, professional degrees. So as they continue to work in a library, they will be also be able to have the opportunity of having a professional degree. So with these three objectives, uh, CLIS program has been launched. And now I would like to go further. It's basically the learning outcome. Whenever we develop a program, as the first point, we come up with an objectives. And after that, we also come up with an out, you know, the learning outcome, which is actually very important. The learning outcome is basically, uh, you know, like what the student uh, is expected to you know to learn after possessing or after completing the degree 
So after completion of CLIS program, the student is expected to apply, you know, the application of library services in society. You know, like uh, this will help them to understand the role of library in society, how library plays an important role in society. And so when they go into the library after uh, possessing the degree, they are able to connect with the people. They are able to serve in a much better and a meaningful way. And the second one is like how library classification is being done. This is again very important. Uh, so after having this degree, the student is expected to learn, you know, the basic, you know, uh, criteria, you know, uh, steps in classifying uh, books, how cataloging is being done in the library, how circulation is being managed, how filing is managed in libraries, and how issue of books and uh, maintain library records basically is how to issue a book and how to also maintain those records in the library and how to deal different types of users and serve them in the best possible way this is again very important how how to deal the different types of users and serve them in a much to, in a better and possible ways understanding their needs you know like in a library, you have different types of people coming to a library. If you are an academic, if, if you are working in an academic library, you will have a professor visiting you with different queries. You will have researchers, research scholars coming and visiting with some you know, some needs, information needs. You will have some of the students in a master degrees, in a you know college degrees, you know, like pursuing college, you know, in a college, they will be coming with different queries. So it that's the reason why it is very important, you know, for the library professionals, you know, to understand, to understand, you know, like uh, how to you know how to deal with different types of uh, users in the library. For example, if you are in a public library, in a public library, any type of people will be coming. Maybe sometimes you will have maybe uh, researchers, you may even have a politician, you may have a just retired uh, working people, or you may have a children, or you may have anybody. So that is the reason why it is very important for library professionals, you know, to, to, to know how, you know, to identify you know different types of people and how to handle different types of people so that they will be able to meet their information needs that's the reason why the use of communication skill again it becomes very important because life is all about communication skill if you go to college it is about communicating between the student and the teachers if you are also outside in the in the class classroom again that itself you can you are communicating with your friends in the classroom outside you are also communicating with with others at home you are communicating with your uh, your family members and also the neighbors and so and so forth so that is the reason why it is very very important also to inculcate a positive uh, communication skills and especially like working in a library, communication skills become very important because one should be a very good listener. Different types of people will come to the library. They will be asking you a lot of questions, you know, looking for queries, some of their information needs. So it is very important that the library professionals, you know, they should have, they should have a very good listening skills in order to understand uh, what, you know, the users are looking, what the users are looking for. And that will help, you know, that will help the library professionals to serve the users in a much effective and a powerful way. So uh, these are the learning outcomes for this uh, certificate in library and information science. Well, uh, the target groups means whom we are targeting is like the program is open for candidates who have finished their class 10, class 12. Yeah, and also for those uh, IGNU students who have completed bachelor's preparatory program of IGNU, so they are the one who are eligible to, you know, get themselves enrolled for this certificate in library information science. Of course, we have uh, many students who have already graduated 
Some are even master degree holders. They are pursuing, uh, you know, this degree in library and information science. So these are the minimum criteria is like class 10, class 12, and also the BPP, that is Bachelor's Preparatory Program of IGNU. So these are the minimum qualification. Of course, if you are a graduate or if you are a master degree holder, if you still want to uh, get yourself enrolled in CLS, you are most welcome for that. And as I have said presently, it is only offered in English, but a Hindi translation is coming soon. So we would like to request to you know, like uh, the students to bear with us. And we do hope and believe that most of you must have really benefited from the counseling sessions which we have had, which we have been conducting for the last uh, 20 days. And well, the next admission is also coming soon for January session. So if any one of your friends or if any one of you, you know, friends, of course, who could not take up in the last uh, academic session, they may also uh, be encouraged to take up this uh, certificate in library and information science. So the career prospects, what are the suitable jobs, you know, where one can, you know, apply after completion of this program? After this certificate in library and information science, you can uh, apply uh, for a library job position in the lower sections, maybe in the circulations, in the section, in the filing, you know, even in the cataloging or different sections in the library. Yeah, so after completion of this course for the certificate in library information science, you can apply for jobs in different areas, be it in the university, you know, in the lower section of the university, in the school, in the college, in the hospitals, in the public libraries, in the government libraries, and so and so forth, because there are so many uh, vacancies that are also lying. Uh, and they are looking for a trained professionals. So, uh, you know, uh, after completion of this course, you can start uh, venturing out with those job prospects. And further studies, after the completion of this certificate program, uh, well, uh, we have BLIs and MLIs. Uh, the next step is Bachelor in Library and Information Science, but in order to take admission for this BLIS, uh, one needs to be a graduate, you know. One should have a, B, one should have a, possess a degree, you know, in be it uh, BA, BSc, or, you know, like BCom, or whichever, you know, in whichever area. If you are a graduate, you are eligible to take admission for this. So after the certificate in library and information science, uh, even if you have this, of course, uh, unless and until you have a bachelor's degree, you will not be able to go for the further studies, that is, that is BLIS, that is the next one. So if any one of you are also aiming to go for higher studies in, uh, in library and information science, I would also request you all to please complete your bachelor's degree. And the minimum uh, requirement is 50% uh, in bachelor's degree. So, uh, I would like to request all of you, after completion of the CLIS program, do not stop your studies, but try to enroll yourself and get your, you know, a bachelor's degree. And after that, you can continue your studies in, you know, BLIS. And then after that, you can also even go for higher further studies like MLIS. And of course, if you still want to go higher, you can still go for uh, PhD, MPhil and PhD. So the higher you go, uh, the higher you have a degree, the better pro job prospects uh, will also be available. So, well, uh, coming back to uh, the basic questions like what does library and information science uh, professional study? What do they study? Well, LI is definitely library and information science is an interdisciplinary uh, field of study. And it is an academic and professional study of how, you know, how information and information carriers are produced, disseminated, discovered, evaluated, selected, acquired, used, organized, maintained, and managed. And library is, you know, as a service-oriented profession created to facilitate access to learning resources, preservation, and dissemination of information and human cultural uh, heritage. Well, library and information science is uh, is a very much a service oriented profession. So that's this is something which we have to really understand. So uh, 
you know it's all about service in, in a way if it's all about understanding the different users in the library and serving them according to their needs so this profession is is very much a service oriented so that's why much more than uh, possessing a degree in library and information science it is very very important that a professional should be interested in people you know should have the willingness and should have the willingness to serve people because even if you have a degree you know, master degree, PhD in the library and information science, if you do not have this aptitude of serving people, it will not be very meaningful. Yeah, so I would also just, uh, you know, as you pursue in this, uh, in this discipline of library and information science, it is very important also to know the different, you know, aptitudes that is required, you know, that is required in the library profession. And the reason why uh, libraries are essential Oh, there's a saying like, Google can bring you back, you know, one lakh answers, but a librarian can bring you back the right one, which means like, you know, Google is there, which when, whenever you Google anything, there will be a lot of options, you know, that will, that will just come up, you know, on the screen. But, uh, but unless and until you have an idea, it will not, you may not be able to get the right answer so a library the librarian you know in spite of having different options you know a librarian can give you the correct one out of all many options that are available i think this is a very crucial role that libraries and the librarians uh, plays in society and library uh, provides uh, free access to information and uh, promote literacy and they offer free or low educational resources to Everyone, libraries uh, provide space to unprivileged uh, people. So these are very essential, you know, like they preserve history and more importantly, the truth. So like uh, library, you know, this itself justifies, you know, the reason why libraries are so es essential in our life, in our society, and why librarians are so vital uh, than ever. Yeah, as it is clearly mentioned, Google can give you thousands of options, but a librarian can provide you the correct one out of many options and can guide students through, you know, media literacy. They can inspire passionate readers. They can develop, uh, you know, like a divergent thinking, uh, cultivate creativity. And, you know, so uh, library definitely plays a very important role in society and there is very much it's still very much justified it you know the the space of this profession in the existing uh, society today and well coming back to CLIS uh, program well these are the course content we are having uh, four courses in our CLIS program first one is about library and introduction it gives about introduction about the library second is about document processing and organizing and the third one is information sources and services and the third the fourth one is uh, ICDs in libraries and objectives of the first course that is uh, out of the four the first objective of the first course at the library that is the basics and context it helps you to understand the role of library in society it is very important because the library are for society to serve people that is the reason it is very important for library professionals to have a clear understanding how to have a clear understanding on society you know the different characteristics different you know like uh, uh, yes uh, aspects in of society and that's how you can contextualize how library can play a role in a society so with this uh, you know this first uh, the first course uh, the first course yeah one of the main objective is to help the students to to understand how library uh, plays a vital role in society, yeah, understanding uh, uh, role of uh, you know, uh, okay, the role of the library in society, the different types of libra uh, libraries, and their functions, 
understand the functional units and operational aspects and the role of library staffs and responsibilities. This is important and especially for this certificate in library and information science, our main target is uh, you know the staffing in the lower uh, in the lower section of the library. So that's the reason why, as you pursue this certificate in library and information science, it is very important for you to you know uh, understand uh, the, you know this particular uh, uh, unit that especially the st the staffs and the responsibility and the role in the library and society. In the first section, it talks about uh, explain the purpose of uh, society and why society is so important and importance of library and society in its role, how you know library plays a role in society and how uh, explain how libraries function to serve people with different needs and purposes, explain the role how modern library plays in educational institution and transform the lives of an ordinary people. So like, uh, uh, these are the some of the objectives uh, you know we have laid down you know like to help the student understand as the as the, you know like go through the study materials you know I think all these things contents have been very clearly explained and we believe that after reading the this this unit the students will be able to connect uh, the library service to society and that's how uh, the library professionals can also be a part of the societal transformation and the significant role of library in society is of course in shaping and molding society and that's without any doubt since library provides the 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 information and knowledge it transform you know their understanding on many aspects you know in their lives and that's how trans you know it molds them and that's how it directly transform it brings transformation in society and library is considered uh, the mind the mind of society house of wisdom and learning community intellectual centers and as i have said how it plays it really indeed plays a very important role uh, I will just hurriedly browse through this and after that we will come to the end of our today's discussion and strengthening academic and research if you are working in in the academic library you know how li how library professionals can help in strengthening the academic and the research activities bridging the link between you know the information sources and the users whatever informations are there in the library you are should be able to connect them to the users that is effectively serving the users providing unconditional service Free, of course, of course, uh, mo you know, motivational individuals, motivating individuals, of course, encouraging cultural activities of groups and organizations, linking people to knowledge and information sources. So these are some of the significant role how library plays a vital role in society. Well, uh, we shall continue the next counseling session on the 18th, and I would like to cover up the remaining of uh, the course content uh, which uh, I could not cover up today. So uh, with this, we come to the end of our today's counseling session. Thank you very much.